Good morning. Uh, welcome to Total Body Conditioning. A um, couple of announcements before we get started with the class. Um, if you were with me last Thursday, you know that um, the music's become an issue. So I would encourage you to put on your own music, music uh, that's got a fairly quick tempo that's fun to move to. Um, we're going to be doing some standing exercises. We're going to do some stuff on the floor. So if you've got a mat or a comfortable place to lie on the floor, that would be great. Equipment that you're going to need today. So I'm going to be using a yoga mat. Uh, if you've got dumbbells, that would be great. Um, uh, also access to a wall. We're going to be doing some wall sits and some other things where we're using the wall. And the last thing that you need, we're going to be doing an exercise where we're lying on the floor, throwing something up in the air. So, you know, I happen to have a Pilates ball that would work well. Also, um, <laughs> surprisingly enough, I found that this was kind of uh, had a nice, a nice weight to it and was easy to catch. So, um, if you want to use something like your wipes container, that would work too. Um, let's get started with our warm up. I'm going to just put on some tunes for myself so I can have something to move to. We're just going to start out with some, uh, actually, I want to march. Sorry, as many of you probably realized, I am a one one thing at a time kind of gal. So. Let's start swinging those arms. Just gonna start out with a couple minutes of a general warm-up, then we'll move into kind of a more specific warm-up. Arms all the way up. Um, today's class, same structure. We're gonna have eight minutes of non-stop cardio. I know everyone loved that. And then we're gonna move into some resistance. Let's take those elbows wide while we march. Uh, one thing that's gonna be different from last week is that the first four minutes, we're gonna be doing exercises standing. The second four minutes, we're gonna be on the floor. The very last exercise we're gonna do on the floor, let's do some uh, gentle tricep kickbacks. Um, the last exercise that we're gonna do, so from minutes seven to eight, we're gonna be on the floor, but we're gonna quickly take our shoes off um, and do those uh, slides. Let's step it side to side. Start swinging our arms. And let's reach it up. Everything about this warm up, I just want it to be nice and easy. We're just going to start getting the movement going. Reach it shoulder high. And reach it down. All right, now I want to do some leg curls. Nice gentle row. With the leg curls, you can see my heels. I've got my knees pointing straight down at the ground. Heels to my bottom. This warms up the quads. Let's reach and pull a little more vigorously. Four more, three, two, last one. Now we're gonna do some heel taps. Uh, I kind of like to do a little punch while I'm doing those. As long as this doesn't irritate your back, start bringing the foot up in the air. Again, we're trying to warm up those hamstrings a little bit before we start working them. So as you feel like you can, Make the kick higher. If that doesn't agree with you, just keep doing the heel taps. Five, four, three, two, last one. All right, I want to do a few lunges to get us warmed up. We're just going to do, uh, I don't know, I call it around the world, stepping it forward and back. Now we're going to do a side lunge and back, stepping it back. Same thing, other leg. Make sure that this knee is always behind the toe. 
and step it back. Other leg, we're just gonna go through this a couple of times. Just a little, little bit more intense movement as part of our warm up. Step it back, arm circles. Start out nice and small. Make them a little bit bigger. Big as you can go. I'm gonna check my little notes here. Other direction, start out small. Make them a little bit bigger. And we can keep marching while we're doing this. A little bit bigger. Super big. Hands on head, take those elbows back. I want you to feel your shoulder blades squeeze together as you do this. And as you can see, my fingertips are just kind of resting on my head as I do this. And I've got it just a little marching going on. All right, let's grab onto the wall, do some leg swings. And hopefully, you know, your hamstrings warmed up enough that that, that swing is getting fairly high. Let's do two more, one more. And I'm swinging the leg that's next to the wall. I'm using the wall for balance. Couple more. All right, the last thing we're gonna do some nice deep squats, just nice and slow. You're going as low as you can, okay? Again, this is just about getting those hips nicely warmed up. Two more. Last one. All right, so I wanna preview our eight minutes of fun. Get my clock all ready to go here. Okay, so um, first thing we're gonna do, one minute, fake jump roping. Again, if jumping doesn't agree with your joints, then just do heel raises, but do them in a fast clip. Second one, uppercuts, okay? Tony's gonna be locked down for that one. High knees. Can you move the camera farther away? I just got a message, sure. Is that better? Um, all right, so then we're gonna do, uh, uh, boys, sorry, I was at high knees. Again, that's either done at a run or a walking pace. Then we're gonna do what I call rolling the dough. You're gonna be rolling it forward for 30 seconds, backward for 30 seconds. Everything else is locked down. Then we're gonna get down on the floor. Um, and I'm gonna preview those when we're down on the floor. Um, uh, Cause I don't, I don't wanna be moving the camera around right now. So anyway, let's get ready for our first four minutes of cardio. Starting with the fake jump rope. On your mark, get set, go. And go at a nice quick clip. Remember, this is just eight minutes of nonstop cardio, so you want to make the most of it. I gotta go over here and get my clock so I can see what time it is. Oh, shoot. Sorry about that. 30 seconds down, 30 to go. Keep the tempo up. Twenty seconds to go. Keep the arms swinging. Ten. <clears throat> Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Uppercuts. Nice, nice, quick tempo to these. Remember, we're punching somebody in the chin with this, right? So it is, it is a high punch. We're not down here, we're up here. Shoulders are locked down. 
The other thing I want locked down, my abs are tight and my glutes are tight. I'm trying to control um, my body movement, trying to keep it in my arms. Keep the tempo up. Go, go, go. Also, make a fist that uh, engages more muscles. 30 seconds down, 30 to go. Woo! Go, go, go. Fifteen seconds to go here. Keep it going. The arms are going to get a rest in the next one. Five seconds to go. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. High knees. Now remember, high knees can be done like this or at a full run. Or you can run as long as you can. And then when you start running out of gas, do it at a walk. Bring them up high if you can. You can also get your arms pumping if you prefer. I like to have my hands up here, so I make sure I'm getting my knees up nice and high. 30 seconds down, 30 to go. seconds to go. Keep it going, keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's roll that down. Here we go. Shoulders are down, tummy's tight. Lock everything down. Just move those hands as quick as you can. We're gonna change directions at the 30 second mark. So in five, four, three, two, one, switch which direction you're rolling. Nice and fast. If this feels like nothing, way too easy, go faster. A minute of this, you should feel it. 15 seconds to go. 10, Whew. five, four, three, two, one. All right, I'm moving the camera. We're getting down on the floor. First thing we're doing, hip thrusts. On your mark. Get set, go. What's a hip thrust? You're here. Oh, I gotta tuck my shirt in. It's just that one part of the burpee without the push up, without standing up. If that doesn't agree with you, do a modified mountain climber. But if you can, jump back and forth. Oh boy. Keep it going. Fifteen seconds to go. I'm gonna switch to a little mountain climber action. Ten seconds. Let's finish strong on this one. Five, four, three, two, one. Now you're going to grab your wipes container or your ball and we're going to be throwing it up in the air and catching it. Go, go, go. Whew. Now the problem with this ball, it's got no weight. So I'm going to switch to my wipes container. This actually works a little bit better. The idea is you're throwing it and catching it as many repetitions as you can in a minute. Usually we do this with a medicine ball, but not a lot of us have medicine balls at home. 
And you want to do it with something that's light enough that if you lose it, it's not going to hurt you if it lands on you. Keep it going here. Next move, mini crunches, as many as you can in a minute. Usually I like to do these really slow, except we're doing this for cardio. So we're going quick, as many as you can in a minute. The exercise after this is the one that you're gonna to wanna to take your shoes off for. But that's not gonna happen for 30 seconds. Keep elbows wide. Keep the work in your abs, not in your neck. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're taking our shoes off. I'm rolling my mat up. Last minute, here we go. Heel slides, fast as you can go. Bring your heels all the way to your bottom. Have your tummy tight so your back is touching the mat. Go, go, go. Keep it going, 15 seconds to go, more than 15 seconds. Now we got 15 seconds to go. Keep the work in those hamstrings. Foot is flexed, go, go, go. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right, I'm gonna grab some water and now we're gonna start doing our resistance exercises. This first group of exercises is down on the mat. And let's see. I am gonna put my shoes back on while I'm getting my water. And I appreciate you experimenting with me doing some of that cardio on the floor. I think that was a little clunky. So I'll keep working on that part of it. I like those exercises, but I think the transition was, at least for me, I felt like it was very clunky. All right, the first exercise that we're gonna do down here, the first resistance exercise is a chest fly. If you've got dumbbells, grab them. And with chest flies, you can go anywhere from heavy to moderate. I'm feeling uh, like fives is what I wanna do. You're gonna start out in what I call the tree hugger pose, softness in those elbows. You're gonna take those weights out nice and wide, bring them back together. Tummy's nice and tight the whole time. Here we go. One, two, three. Four. The weights remain kind of on the plane of my chest the whole time. I'm not getting up towards my neck or my head at all. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We're going to do some bridges with a, a where we're holding it up for a count of 10, we're gonna do a total of six of these. Press through those heels, lift up, you're all the way up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Come on back down and up we go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, back down and up for one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here's number four for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here's number five. Make that straight line between your knees and your shoulders. Here we are at six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last one. Up we go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, I'm going to grab a heavy dumbbell for this next one. Combining, uh, you all probably know this exercise, dead bug. Well, we're going to be doing the lower portion of a dead bug while with our upper body, we're doing a straight arm lat pullover. So the choreography is going to look like this. You're going to step it out while you take the weight overhead, bring it back up. Remember, while you're doing this, your abs should be tight and your back should be touching the mat the whole time, okay? So here we go. We're reaching it out, our back is staying down the whole time, and we're pulling it back up. There's one, two, three, four. Keep that back down. Five, six, seven, Eight, nine, we're gonna do 14 of these. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Nicely done. All right, this last one that we're gonna do is a killer. It's Renegade Row. So, uh, Couple of different ways to do this. I'm gonna start out with the easiest version is to be in this um, all fours position and you're taking your weight and rowing, alternating one side and then another. Harder version, push up position with no rotation while you do it. Now I know I've got a couple of people um, in the class who have new knees where you don't wanna be on all fours. Go ahead and stand up and do a bent over row. You know where we do a hip hinge, nice flat back, just do the row that way. If you uh, can't, can't do it on your toes and don't wanna be on your knees. 10 of these, because like I said, they are a killer. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, we should have done more of those. Uh, and now it's just time to repeat these four exercises that we're doing on the mat, starting with the chest fly. I'm in my tree hugger pose. I'm taking those weights wide, bringing them back together. I've got tightness in my abs the whole time, keeping my back glued to the mat. Here's number four. Always have softness in those elbows. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Check the position of your weights. They should be right over your chest. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's do the isometric bridge up and hold it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And up we go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make sure your heels are nice and close to your bottom while you do this. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here we're starting number four for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
and up for number five. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last one. Up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. All right, we're doing dead bug um, with a straight arm lap pullover, our combo exercise. Um, you know, I didn't really think 10 was enough. We did 14 of these. Let's, let's leave it at 14. I think it was a renegade row. I want to do more. Here we go. Tummy's tight. Back is touching the mat. Reach them out. Bring it back in for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <clears throat> ten, eleven. Check it with your back. Twelve. 13, 14, nicely done. <clears throat> Last one, renegade row. Let's, um, let's, do <clears throat> let's do 14 of these. Just seemed like 10 was not quite enough. Get yourself in position, really watch for the rotation. You want your glutes and your abs super tight so your body stays very still and the action is really just in the upper body. Here we go, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right, good. So <clears throat> grab some water if you want. We're going to be standing up for these last set of exercises. We're off the mat until stretching time. Try and get this camera in a good position. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, <clears throat> we're gonna balance on one leg. You know, if you don't wanna balance on one leg, don't balance on one leg. But if you can, get yourself up on one leg and then we're gonna be doing a front raise and a lateral raise. So it's like this. Only go as high as your shoulder. Thumbs are pointing up, so your hands are always vertical. It's easier on the shoulder. Uh, let's do 10 on one side, 10 on the other. One. Two. Keep the abs tight. Whoops. Three. Four. Five. Six, I, little, I like a little micro pause at the top. Makes it harder. Eight. Well, my balance is off today. Nine. 10. Shake it off. Let's get on the other leg. Start with the other side. One. <clears throat> Two. Three. You can see I don't want any swing in this. Four. <clears throat> Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to go do a one minute wall set. Find a nice blank wall. Lower yourself down. If you can get down to where your knees are at a 90 degree angle, that's a bonus. If this hurts your knees, first of all, make sure that you've got good alignment. Ankles, knees, and hips are all in a nice straight line. Definitely no caving into the knees. And if you need to take it up a little bit to maintain it, that's okay. Also, um, I wanna make sure that your, your hips, your low back, and your shoulder blades are actively pushing into the wall. We're at 30 seconds, 30 down, 30 to go. Actively push into the wall. You're gonna feel it right here in your quads. They should be burning by now. Fifteen seconds to go. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing yourself into the wall. 
10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on up. Tricep kickbacks. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit lighter on these weights than I normally would because we are gonna be doing a slow tempo. So I'm gonna get in a staggered stance. I start with my dumbbells on my hips, elbows pointing back behind me. I'm gonna go out in one. I'm gonna hold it for one, two, three, four, and back nice and slow. Okay, so here we go, out. Doing 15 of these. One, two, three, four, and back. And here we go. Two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four. Make sure your posture is in a nice strong position. Back is straight. Here we go for 10, two, three, four, 11, two, three, four, 12, two, three, four, 13, two, three, four, 14, two, three, four, 15, two, three, four. Woo, I'm feeling that, I hope you are too. Um, last thing we're doing, this is, uh, more of an exercise you see in a PT application, but I want to work gluteus medius. That's our hip muscle on the side. I'm going to get right next to the wall. Um, my shoulder is on the wall. I'm going to lift up my foot, lean into the wall. I'm rooted through my support foot, and now I'm going to activate this muscle right here, actively pushing this leg into the wall as hard as I can for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Relax it. Go again. We're doing it five times. Go, push. Right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I am pushing my hip and my leg into the wall. And go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. I want you to shake when you do this. I am go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last one. Push, push right here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nicely done. Other side, same thing. Be nice and close to the wall. Lean in and now activate. Push for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo, this one's already tired. And go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two down, three to go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here comes number four. Push in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last one. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Oh, I'm feeling that. Okay, let's go back to um, single leg lateral raises. <clears throat> a lot of isometric work with our legs today, so they're probably feeling it. Um, get yourself balanced up on one leg, and here we go for one. Abs are nice and tight. Two, three, four. Root yourself through that support foot. Five. Again, no swinging. Six, that's why, why I like the slow tempo. Seven, eight, you can go up quickly. 
Just come down slowly. Nine. Ten. Switch legs. <laughs> Here on the edge of the carpet, I'm tripping myself. Oops, I'm sorry. I want to start on the inside. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Nicely done. We're back to that one minute wall sit. Remember, you want your feet far enough away from the wall that those knees are not over your toes. Go, push into the wall. Push the small of your back into the wall. Push your hips into the wall. Push your shoulder blades into the wall. Um, I'm not really pushing my head into the wall, but I do have my, my back of my head on the wall. As much as you can, try and relax your upper body. Make all the work. Abs, glutes, quads. All the way down. Try and have a nice relaxed breath. That's really important for isometric exercises. We're, we've hit the halfway point. When you're doing an isometric exercise, you know, that's an exercise with a hold. It's really easy to hold your breath, but it's not good for you. It's also good to practice activating your core and relaxing your breath at the same time. We've got 10 seconds to go here. Keep pushing, keep pushing. And we're here for five, four, three, two, one. Tricep kickbacks. So I'm gonna get in a nice staggered stance position, hinging at the hip, dropping my chest slightly forward. Weights are on my hips, elbows are pointing at the wall behind me, and straight in them for one, two, three, four, bring them back. And take them back for one, two, three, four. And three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Five, two, three, four. Six, two, three, four. Seven, two, three, four. Eight, two, three, four. Try and keep your neck nice and long. Nine, two, three, four. Ten, two, three, four. Eleven, two, three, four. Nine, I'm sorry, twelve, two, three, four. Thirteen, two, three, four. Fourteen, two, three, four. 15, two, three, four. Ooh, I am gonna feel that one tomorrow. All right, I wanna skip the isometric wall lean. Feel free to do that if you want, but I think it's time for us to do some more core. Our time is getting short. Let's start out with my personal favorite, side plank. 30 on one side, 30 on the other. Remember, you can do it on your knee if you want. Scissor those feet or stack the feet. Up we go. I'm sorry to be rushing, but I wanna make sure that we have time to go through all of our core and stretch. And here we are for five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides. Up we go. Try and lengthen yourself out through your, the top of your head. I'm looking at the wall straight ahead. No reason to look down at the mat. I'll keep track of the time. 15 seconds to go here.
five, four, three, two, one. Nicely done. All right, let's do figure four crunches. Going to get in that figure four position. Elbow to knee. 15 on, uh, actually, no, I don't want to do those right now. Let's do uh, uh, bicycles without the upper rotation. I am going to bring my head up off the ground um, and tilt my head forward to, this protects my neck. And now we're just taking it down, bringing it back up. Keep that low back down the whole time. If you want to do this at a little faster clip to make it harder, feel free. If this bugs your back, keep it up here, okay? But if you need to make it harder, harder still. Both legs, okay? Whatever version you want to do is fine. Just keep that back down, okay? We got five more to go. Four more to go. Three more. Two more. Last one. Nice job. Let's do a crunching plank to finish with. It's only a 30 second plank. You're gonna be in your standard plank position. Elbows are gonna be pulling in towards your waist. Toes are gonna to be pulling in. You're gonna create a lot of tension um, in your abs and you should be shaking like a leaf while you do this. The good news is it's short. It's only uh, 30 seconds. Here we go, on our mark. Oh, come on, watch. Get set, go. Eyes are looking straight down at the mat. Neck is nice and long. Oh my goodness. I'm 10 seconds in and I'm already shaking like a leaf. 15 seconds in, make sure your breath is nice and regular. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nicely done. All right, I want to move right on to stretching. So make sure that we get some stretching in. Let's get on our back. Let's start with a hamstring stretch. I like to have the passive knee bent. It puts my back in a better position. This leg is straight as you can go. Foot is flexed, pulling the leg forward. Nice big stretch right here. For five, four, three, two, one. Switch legs, pull it forward. For five, four, three, two, one. Take the knee, pull it towards the same side, shoulder. And keep this leg active by flexing the toe. For five, four, three, two, one. Other side. For five, four, three, two, one. Oh, I think my head's not in the picture. Oh, well. Supine twist. If you've got low back issues, I want you to be real careful with this. I'm going to take my foot, put it on my thigh, grab the knee, come over on my hip. I'm looking in the opposite direction. It's a nice low back and glute stretch. But for some folks, this is just too much on your low back. So I want you to modify as appropriate. Come on out of the stretch. Let's do the other side. Again, I'm looking in the opposite direction to intensify. Nice regular breath as you do this and just nice and easy. Let's get on our side, stretch our quad. Grab your foot, make sure your knee is in, in line with your hip. Pull the knee back. Should be an obvious stretch right here. And here we are for five. 
four, three, two, one. Other side. And pull that knee back. For five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's do the um, get into cactus pose and stretch our our shoulders and our chest. So you know my my arms are just like a goal posts. Okay, my elbows are at a ninety degree angle. I'm gonna keep my um, I'm gonna keep my back down, and I'm also gonna keep my fingers uh, on the ground as I'm reaching up overhead. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to, not going to let my back arch. Keep that back pinned to the mat. Go up as high as you can. Once you reach the point, you can't go any farther. I want you to stop for a moment. And now try and reach just a little bit further. Good. For five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back down. Let's do this one more time. Reach, reach, reach. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Pause for a moment. Make sure that back is not arching. Reach higher. Good. All right, let's stand up for the last few stretches. We're going to start on the wall, stretching our calf. Back heel is flat on the floor. Once you're in position, shift your weight forward and down, stretching that back calf. Again, keep the heel down the whole time. And we're here for five, four, three, two, one, switch sides. Get yourself in position, press those hips forward and down and feel that stretch in the back of the calf. For five, four, three, two, one. Come on out of the stretch. Let's uh, take our arm across, hug it in tight. We're stretching the back part of our shoulder. We're gonna hold this for five, four, three, two, one. Shake it off, other side. For five, four, three, Two, one, take the hands behind your back, lift them up. For five, four, three, two, let's stretch our rotator cuff, reaching that hand up, grabbing it with your other hand. This is a super uncomfortable stretch, I know, but it's kind of a two for one. We're stretching our tricep and we're stretching our, um, our rotator cuff. For five, four, three, two, one. Shake it off, other side. Same exact thing. This is a, my side with the rotator cuff issue, so you can see I don't get nearly, nearly as high, but I'm working on it and hold it for five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna finish off stretching our traps. Uh, I feel like I always need to stretch my neck. I'm gonna let this arm hang long as I grab the side of my head, pulling it forward and down. For five, four, three, two, one, shake it off, other side, arm is hanging long, grab the side of your head, pulling it forward and down. For five, now I wanna hold this one a little bit longer, don't rush. Five, four, three, two, one. Some nice shoulder rolls. We're pretty much out of time. If you've got a couple extra minutes and can do some cat-cow stretching at the back, 
that would be awesome. Quick reminder, um, Thursday, Passover, so we have no class. Um, I hope that you have a, a nice Passover, and um, I will be back here next Tuesday at 9. So take care, everybody. Thank you. All right, well, it looks like we're still live. So if you want to do a couple more stretches, um, it could be good for us to hit that inner thigh. I've got my knee behind my toe. Switching to the other side. All right, I'm not sure um, if, we've, <laughs> if we're still live or not, but uh, I'm just gonna keep doing some stretches here, assuming that we are. Um, here we go. Other side, Ooh, I got some messages coming in. Oh, well, thank you for the nice comments. It's my pleasure to teach this class. We can take our hands overhead, gentle side bend. Again, be careful with this one if you have some back issues. If it's too much having your hands overhead, you can just run your hand down your leg. Come on back up. We can take it down here. Hands are on my, on my legs as some support and I'm really rounding my back, stretching my low back. Bend those knees, come on back out of it. And I will bid you all farewell. Let's see. Thanks again, hope to see you on Tuesday.